hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'll be sharing a recipe for garlic butter chicken if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing by clicking the subscribe button here for this recipe you're going to need the following ingredients you're going to need chicken breast boneless chicken breast some garlic some flour this is all-purpose flour you're going to need only a few seasonings some smoked paprika some salt and some dried parsley you can use the fresh one if you prefer you also need some butter and I'm serving this with some couscous but you can serve it with whatever you like. First I'm going to start by cutting the chicken into bite sized pieces. Make sure that all of your chicken are cut into the same size so that they can cook evenly and at the same rate. Then get a paper towel and pat dry your chicken pieces. We don't want any water on it because we're going to season it and we want the seasoning to stick. So get a paper towel and dry up your chicken and make sure there's no water left on it. You're going to want to transfer it to a bowl so that you can add the seasoning and mix it up in there. Next, I'm adding my smoked paprika, my parsley and my salt, and then a tablespoon of all-purpose flour. The flour is going to help the seasoning stick to the chicken when we cook it. Now mix everything up together. Make sure you mix it properly so that there is no seasoning left in the bowl. You want everything that you've put in to stick to the chicken. In a frying pan, I'm going to add some butter and allow this to melt. I had turned on my heat way before time, so my frying pan got too hot and I had to turn it off. But I've turned it back on now. I'm going to add a little bit of oil. I'm using butter and oil for this recipe because I want the flavor of the butter, but I don't want it to burn as I'm cooking my chicken so I'm mixing it with a bit of oil when it's hot add in your chicken pieces make sure not to crowd your frying pan so do this in batches it doesn't matter if you do it two or three times but it's important that you don't crowd the frying pan so that your chicken doesn't boil instead it fries after a couple of minutes turn them over to the other side about two minutes turn all the pieces over and cook the other side for another two minutes I'm going to mince my garlic and add it in now for flavor and then I'm going to stir everything up together for another one minute until my chicken is properly cooked Once this is ready, I'm going to take it out, add some more butter to the frying pan and do the next batch. I'm not going to add any garlic in the next batch because there's still some garlic left in this oil and I don't want the garlic to overpower the chicken. When you're doing this, make sure you keep an eye on it because it will 
burn if you leave it too long you can't go anywhere you need to stand with it and it doesn't really take a long time cooking chicken that you've cut into bite-sized pieces like this don't really take a long time in five minutes one whole batch will be done and you can start on the next batch put up a picture on instagram with this garlic butter chicken but i had served it with some plantain and some fried yam and it was so good when i put the picture up people wanted me to share the recipe so here's the recipe for you guys but in this video i'm having it with couscous you can have it with anything that you want you can make an extra dip for it and have it with something else if you prefer that this chicken is really versatile you can really have it with anything that you want you can even have them on their own as a snack this batch is cooked I'm going to take it out and it's time to make the couscous In the oil that's left in the frying pan, I'm going to add some water, just enough to cook my couscous. I'm cooking just a little over half a cup of couscous, so I'm going to add about a cup of water. My water was already boiling, so I'm going to add in my couscous straight away. I'll add a pinch of salt to this and turn off the heat. Stir it, cover it and allow it to steam. I don't cook my couscous on heat at all. I turn off the heat once I had the water boiling and the steam will do the rest for me. Otherwise you end up with soggy couscous and I really do not like soggy couscous. I don't like soggy anything to be honest. Look how nice my couscous is looking you can see the individual grains i added a little bit of parsley off camera because i wanted a hint of flavor in my couscous also but you don't have to you can cook your couscous plain and have it with a sauce if you want i'm just gonna go ahead and serve my couscous now with my chicken and i tell you this was so yummy you may want to make a gravy for yours if you want but i didn't mind having mine this way and i tell you it was super delicious i hope you've enjoyed watching this video if you did please give me a thumbs up leave me any comments and questions that you have down below and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do so now and i'll see you in my next video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time